Well, you know, what I first want to say is um, I think tonight you saw what the BYU team's about, and that is, number one, playing hard. Number two, playing defense and trusting each other and moving and helping each other out and scrambling and doing the things which, which they need to. Um, and then offensively, push the ball, get some breaks, and then come down and execute and take advantage of what you have offensively um, against against the team. And um, I think today was was this team. This is how this team was built. This is how this team plays. And um, I'm just so proud of them because this was a big game. I mean, a lot was 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 on the line. Great crowd and senior night. A lot of things that could distract a lot of things that way. And I'm just so proud of them, um, the way that they handled themselves and. They're in shape. I think tonight, we, I think you saw, I didn't sub a lot tonight. And the reason is we didn't get in a lot of foul trouble. And those guys were, they, they were ready. And uh, um, I can't say more than I, with those seniors, every one of them has been a big piece of BYU basketball and they'll all be remembered for what they've accomplished here and, and really what they set. They set the tone for this program. Those little freshmen right now, they're seeing the way it's supposed to be done. And they'll just follow. And then somebody will follow them, and it just keeps going. And, and you know, that's what we're hoping for. Coach, the way that um, the way that the bench and the coaches and everybody was on the sidelines, you would think that this was not a 20 point game. You know, you, you guys were riding on every shot and every call. It's like you said, like, this was a big game. How do you manage emotions throughout a game like that, where it obviously means a lot, and your guys are obviously very emotional throughout the game? Well, you know, it's really hard. A lot of coaches try to hide it. Um, I think my staff and me, we don't. We're the opposite. I mean, I, hey, I, I told the girls, this is the biggest game probably your life right now, this game. It's, this is, I don't, I don't hide, I don't hide things and say, oh, you know, just, I, I say, go attack it. Go, you know, I've always told people, I'd rather shoot the bullets than block them. So, you know, I, I think that's the way this team, this team has handled things. And, um, you know, it was close, and then we, we, we went in that spurt where we defended and made some really nice plays to get us ahead. Um, but it was a physical game today, really physical. And um, you got to give Gonzaga a lot of credit, too. I mean, they're, they're a very, very good team. And we'll probably meet again in the championship in the conference, you know, in the in tournament. And uh, it's just, it's just, it's fun. These are fun games. They're fun games to coach, they're fun games to play. Um, it, there's a lot of pressure. There's no question about it. Why was your defense so effective in the second quarter? We were really active. We were really, really active. We switched a lot. We got back to closeouts. We were aggressive. We crashed the boards. We bumped screens hard. Um, we just were really physical. And um, this team can play that way. We don't get an opportunity to do that a lot because the refs call a lot of but tonight they let us play. It was it was a real physical game. Talk about the uh, the crowd setting uh, the record tonight. You know, I I knew we'd have a really good crowd, and um, I th I think we have more than six thousand people. To tell you the truth, I think people stuck in here, didn't pay the ticket or whatever. <laughs> but um, what an atmosphere! I mean, this atmosphere was more impressive than the Gonzaga, going to Gonzaga and playing at Gonzaga. It, it was louder. It was, I mean, the Gonzaga coach Lisa said, this is an awesome crowd. I mean, best I've ever seen it. You guys been been getting tens like this? I said, it's not this good, but we've been getting it this year. The girls deserve it. They deserve it. You know, they, they work hard. They do whatever they have to do. And so to be able to see that and have this crowd feel the emotion and all the, the hard work that these guys had done was, was, was well worth it. Talk about, you touched on this, but being able to send those seniors who chose to come back, send them out with a game like this, no question. atmosphere. I mean, you might get another home game depending on what how things shake out, but last guaranteed home game. What, what does that mean to you? Well, would they have a 30 game home winning streak? And, and you know, they knew it. I didn't know it. They knew it. <laughs> hey, coach, we got 30 games we win an going to win. Yeah, they came back for this reason. 
I mean, I know they came back to hang with me, but, you know, but, <laughs> but they came back mainly for this. And you know how in life very few people can have dreams and then those dreams come true? And I think they saw this and they felt this was going to happen for them this year. And from day one, first workouts in the summer, July 13th is how they were. And um, that's what they are. And, and um, they came back to be able to, to really make a mark. And, and this is part of it, and there's many, many more parts of it. As you all know, the tournament, the NCAA tournament, um, a lot of other things. But, um, man, I'm just proud of them. You know, every one of them had to sacrifice something for this team to be successful. Every one of them. Like, Tegan had to work on defense. You know, Maria had to be more aggressive offensively and drive it and kick it. Sarah had to come off the bench and give us the lift. Paisley had to knock four shots up and let teammates get her, get her shots. Um, and so those guys all, all sacrificed. And by doing that, it made, made this team successful. And what a great example they've done for my young kids. My young kids are sitting there right there watching it. And by the way, Nani played pretty good tonight. I think you guys see the future in that kid. I mean, big game, of the biggest game of the year, and comes and knocks a three and gets a steal. And, I mean, doesn't even factor. And so uh, I'm, I'm just happy with, with, with uh, her play. But this, 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 this young group's going to literally learn from this. Well, first of all, it gets us an opportunity to stay in the national ranking where we want to stay and be there and, and, and not slip out. Number two is it's showing that BYU can, can have top teams if we re recruit right and they stick to what we're trying to do. And uh, you get certain players that can, that can help each other out. I think the, the third thing is this crowd. I mean, this was, ama this was amazing today, I mean, to see that. And I was so – I knew it would be good, but I didn't think it would be this good. And uh, to see that and then have you guys cover them. I mean, I really believe this. This BYU team is – a lot of people know them. It's not like a few people, a lot of people. You know, and all the, the social media and all the things that are going on, um, they've just done a really good job of marketing themselves. And you saw my players are really, how you say it, considerate and love those young kids. And they put their arms around. And this is not just here. We go to San Francisco and there's kids there, they do. We go, we go to San Diego and there's kids. That's them. That's them in the airport. It's just the way they are. And they, they really live and do the things that, that really BYU stands for. Thanks for you being here. Oh. Tell David James, where is he? <laughs> I know. I know. I'm really just blown away emotionally. This was all really beautiful. Just moving forward, how excited do you get to see what they can do? You know, it's as a coach, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's kind of like you you think it's going to, and you go through practice this week, and you go through walkthrough, and you go through, and it, they they were ready. But sometimes you're ready and you just fall on your face. And so, um, but they were ready today to play, and it was so good to see them come out and play. We didn't play our best. We missed a lot of shots, but but we we really did a lot of little things tonight. We didn't give them second shots. We got on loose balls. We got back on defense. We hit hard. We, we set hard screens. We bust through screens. You know, uh, a lot of deflections. This team is one of the best teams I've had that can flex passes and just, you know, and, and everybody balance scoring, you know, and just all those things is what this team has all, all been, you know, been about. And it's hard. A senior night's hard. This is, this is one of the hardest. You'd rather have it when you're playing a team that you know you can smoke and don't worry about it. But, it's that, that, you know, they didn't happen tonight. So, but thank you. We might not have. We might not have. But hey, hey, really, by me, I'm going to say to you guys, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's so awesome to have coverage and let these girls get the recognition they deserve. Every one of you, maybe you guys aren't married yet, but the ones that are married, you all will have a daughter. 
and you cheer for your daughter just as loud as you cheer for your son. Okay, and it's so nice to see the media be so excited about covering us because they are special. They really, Kenny knows. Kenny's been on the road and he knows. So thank you. And uh, we, got, we got hopefully 10 more games, 10 more to go.